CHS News. I'm Dexter Harris. And I'm Rebecca Hawkins. This week, the school has a manufacturing open house. We learn more about our Anishinaabek club. Sick Kids Hospital visits PSHS. And students are as active as ever. Here's sports with an update. Hey there, and I'm Ethan Bowman, support for PSHS Sports. This week, senior boys basketball team played a game against St. Dom's and we won. Unfortunately, our hockey team that played this week didn't have the same luck as the senior boys basketball team because they lost 4-3. to three. What a shame. Girls volleyball team, though, hosted a game here at PSHS. We won that. Congratulations, girls. Ethan Bananas, back to you. Tyson and River caught up with Cherith Greenwood about the Manufacturing Open House. Here's events with the Deets. A Manufacturing Open House had taken place December 8th, 2011. Uh, River had caught up with Cherith Greenwood about four or five weeks ago. It had been rescheduled because based on snow days. Um, but uh, here she is with more. The Manufacturing Open House is an opportunity for students from the Perry Sound High School to visit the local manufacturing businesses and really get an eye-opening experience as to what opportunities there are in that industry as well as uh, supporting the local manufacturers. REDAC is the Regional Economic Development Advisory Committee. It is a joint um, facilitation process between McDougal, Perry Sound, Seguin, and recently McKellar and Carling. And uh, the main goal is for uh, economic development without borders. What is REDAC trying to accomplish with the manufacturing open house? The REDAC is really trying to accomplish uh, two things. To right give the manufacturing industries, uh, basically assembly. we're trying to uh, open students' eyes as to the pathways and opportunities locally with uh, big world-recognized companies in the area. And the other opportunity is for the manufacturing open house to really tell you guys what they are doing, what they are about, and what opportunities they will provide you upon graduation. Um, there are so many opportunities uh, available in the community, but especially with these two manufacturing uh, businesses, because they do have world recognition, as well as if you've ever seen the show, how did they make it or how it's made, you guys are getting a front row seat as to discovering how things are made in the area. Well, that's all we can give you for, from the manufacturing open house. This is Tyson from Majuan and River from Majuan from the events team. PSHS News, peace. Community Culture and Caring took a look at the Anishinaabe Club this week. Here's Nikki with more details. The Anishinaabe Club meets every other Wednesday at lunch in Ms. Shaw's Classroom 209. Ms. Naomi Pegamagabo from Student Services is the advisor. Some of the reasons for starting the club given by students at the time were to get recognized as a nation, to talk stuff like racism, i.e. what happened to the one of the students, eat pizza, something to do at lunch keeps us out of trouble, to help our students deal with racism and feel like they belong at Perry Sound High School, regular drum practices began under the leadership of John Wright. Not long afterwards, Ken Tobabadong helped the students build the drum, the people's drum. Uh, during a birthing ceremony held in the small gym during the 2003-2004 school year, the People's Drum was born. The current drum chiefs are Greg Marshall, Jackson, and Ethan Spencer. Regular drum practices are held in room 216 at lunch time on Thursdays. In 2006, the People's Drum, along with the called Virtues Project, won the YMCA's annual Peace Award. It's with great pleasure that we take the opportunity to announce a full powwow will be held this coming spring on Friday, May 18, 2012, here at Perry Sound High School. Please join us 
as we continue to share our indigenous knowledge and understanding with you and celebrate the gift of life. I'm Nikki Gregoire. Back to you, PSHS News. This week, Sick Kids Hospital came to PSHS to talk to students about using visual art to communicate the experience of psychosis. Here's the arts team with more. Hi, I'm Ryan Sarker from PSHS News, and this week at PSHS, there was a mural on display in the front lobby of the school. The mural was created by eight young people who had their first experience with psychosis. The eight young people who created the mural are not artists, but worked with an artist to create the images that depicted what their experience of psychosis was like, including the process they went through to get help. This task was by no means easy. A first episode of psychosis can be frightening, it can be confusing, it can be extremely distressing, especially because it's so unfamiliar. Um, and the crazy thing is, it's way, way more common than you would ever realize. The quotes, uh, the statistics quote, one in three people in their lifetime might be uh, affected. That's more people than diabetes. Way. So the group really had to try to unearth layers of their experience away from more literal representations and explicit symbols because when you and other students engaged with the mural, they didn't want to spell it out for you because it wasn't easy. It was blurry and abstract and confusing. So what they wanted was for you to engage. And by that the mural project's purpose is to increase knowledge and understanding of the experience of psychosis, reduce the stigma associated with mental illness, and to use art as a way to communicate with the community. I'm Randra Armbrust from PSHS News. Back to you. Thank you for joining us this week. To Play You Out is a movie trailer for our PSHS student film, Ulterior Motive. Random Productions presents. Hey guys, guys, we're here. Alright. Who's this? Four friends, one regular evening. You think Dylan is dead? Takes an unexpected turn for the worse. Oh no. Do they have what it takes to survive until help arrives? You know what? If you guys need me, I'll be on there. That, that's a ladder. One evening will change their lives forever. You want to die too? Ulterior Motive, rated PG-13. Whoa guys, do not go in that bathroom. <laughs>